13. It isn't too often that you'll find a George Hallis coached Chicago Bear team that has won only 25% of their league games, but that was the situation when the Monsters of the Midway came in to Kezar Stadium to battle the league-leading San Francisco 49ers. Coach Red Hickey just hoped that the Bears were in hibernation and would stay there until the end of the afternoon. And now action with the kickoff by Joe Avini. And waiting for it, Abe Woodson at the 10, 15, 20, sideways now, hemmed in, starts to reverse his field. It turns out to be a mistake. And Abe is thrown out of the four-yard line. On that play, referee Red Pace was upended. And the game was delayed a few minutes until he could regain his composure. Boy, who says the life of a referee is an easy one. All right, Davis here to putt for the 49ers now. And waiting for it is Richie Pettibone. And he is tackled by Gonzaga and Thomas. Now it's Willie Gallimore for two yards. Ed Hankey, number 75, gets him. The Bears in white, the 49ers in their home uniform. Brown to pass this time. The big game, Bill McCall, to the 21-yard line where Eddie Dove makes the tackle. Fourth down, the 49ers held. So Avini to try a 27-yard field goal. It's good. And the Bears lead the 49ers three to nothing. It's in the second quarter. San Francisco on the Chicago 45. Conley again leading the way for Joe Perry. And Joe gallops for 16 big yards to the Bear 28-yard line. Now it's number 26, Lenny Lyles, at left tackle for three yards. Tittle throws a short hitch pass to Billy Wilson, and it's good for a five-yard gain. Once again, Joe Perry behind Lyles' initial block and Conley's downfield block, and a seven-yard pickup for the Jets. Now watch our false staff, Zumar Lenz. Lenny Lyles on an end run. A block by Thomas Bosley. The speedster cuts in, and he scores for San Francisco. With Davis' conversion, the 49ers lead it 7-3. In the third quarter, Tommy Davis kicking off. Just the way Hickey likes him. Right out of the end zone, touchback. First and 10 on the 20, and big Rick Caceres pounding for nine yards before Jerry Tubbs makes the tackle. Now Brown faking beautifully. Passes to Jack Morris. He's hit by Baker after a 21-yard gain. A quick toss out to Caceres this time, and the big guy bowls his way for 10 more yards. Watch him drive. Now a beautiful play against the Red Dog. A quick screen to Willie the Whip Gallimore, and he literally runs away from everybody, friends and foe alike, for a 35-yard touchdown gallop. With Savini's conversion, it's all tied up at 10-10 as the third quarter ends. In the fourth quarter, the 49ers lead 13-10 on the Davis field goal, and Tommy kicks off here at Jack Morris, playing ring around the goal post and footsies, picks it up, and scampers back now to the 18-yard line. Henry Schmidt and Johnny Wittenborn got him. Brown with a quick look-in pass to Harlan Hill, and the speedster moves for 30 yards for the Chicago Bears. Merchant's making the tackle. Now Brown calling on a rookie and Willie Duvall. Number 88. He's got it. Moving to the 49er 30-yard line. As with two minutes left, the Bears fight back. Brown now to his outside favorite receiver, Jim Dooley. There he is. He's got it. A fair touchdown. And Chicago takes the lead. 17 to 13. About a minute and 50 seconds left. Shades of 1957. The stage set for another cliffhanger as Avini kicks off. And no return here. Abe Woodson has to go out of the end zone. A minute 50 left as coaches Bill Johnson and Mark Duncan confer with Jack Christensen and Bob Shaw in the press box. First and 10 of the 20, and here's the play. Tittle rolling out to the right. Beautiful fake, then firing crossfield backwards to Lenny Lyles on the 15. Downfield blocked by Bruce Bosley. Lyles upended by Barnes on the 38-yard line. A minute 27 left now as two passes were incomplete. Here's a key third down play. Tittle to his favorite receiver, Billy Wilson. Billy trying to get out of bounds to stop the clock. Leaps over the bench at the bare 46. Now Tittle on a key play. Rolling to the right. Faking the run. Coming up almost the line of scrimmage. And 
arching the ball in the air to R.C. Owens up for a touchdown with a minute remaining. Too fast for you, and let's call in our false staff slow motion camera to show you that play in detail. Kittle with protection from number 34, Perry, and 53, Borsey. Rolls out to the right, faking a run. He knows exactly where the line of scrimmage is. Now he arches the ball to R.C. Owens behind Barnes and Caroline. R.C. goes up. He's got it. The alley-oop scores again for San Francisco. 49ers win 20-17, and now timeout for Falstaff's Old Pro. 